Hey everyone, welcome to the studio. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about luster. Yes, luster. I love luster. I love shiny, I love pretty, I love bling, and I'm gonna show you how I apply luster on my work, and hopefully you'll find a way to use these ideas to apply it to your work. So here is a plate that is finished of mine, and you can see this is gold luster all along the rim. And I've applied that as an edging detail and kind of as a border for this piece. So that's one cool way to use luster, the edging of plates. And another way to use luster is on this piece that I did a few years ago, is I've applied platinum luster to the interior along with mother of pearl luster across some underglaze. So this actually is a very thin layer of underglaze that then has mother of pearl luster applied to it. And that's why it's so shiny. So shiny. Ooh, shiny. All right, so what you need to have for applying luster of any sort is you have to have a glazed surface. It can be your own piece or something you've bought or found. Glossy glaze if you want glossy surface, matte glaze if you want matte surface, satin glaze for a satin surface. So basically, whatever you're putting the luster on, that surface you have there is the surface you're going to get for your end result. So if you're looking for a really glossy, shiny gold surface and you're putting it on a flat matte glaze, you're not going to get that. You're going to get a flat matte gold. So make sure whatever you're putting it on is the surface you want for your end result. So that's getting started. Here I'm going to apply some gold luster to this super sweet little inlaid cup that I made. Little rainbow, rainbow love cups. And I'm going to apply the luster here to these little stars. Now when you apply luster to functional wear, you've now made the piece not dishwasher safe and definitely not microwave safe. And also you do not really want to put it on the rims where the mouth is going to come in contact if it's something they're going to use a lot. This is a mug. It'll be used daily, I hope. So I'm only putting the luster on these few areas here. So I thought about this. You know, if this was a fancy teacup, something for special occasion like I have behind me, you know, I probably will put gold luster on the edge of this, but this is not an everyday item. It's a special occasion item. So that's kind of another thing to think about. All right, so getting started, you need your gold luster. I like to use Duncan. This is a tiny little bottle of Duncan luster. It's about two grams. They vary in price. You'll have to check with your local ceramic supplier. Let me get that in closer for you guys so you can see. I think it just says bright gold. Bright gold, but I will definitely post that in the description of what I use. So I get mine from Vermont Ceramic Supply. I know Amazon sells some. Uh, any local clay supplier is gonna carry your gold. Now this is tiny and it is kind of pricey. So it's precious and it is 22 karat gold. So it's real gold in a suspension and you apply it to the surface and everything else burns away, leaving the gold behind. So it's actually real gold that you're putting on. It's not fake gold. This is the real deal right here. Now. You need an essence of some sort or some type of liquid, some kind of liquid to clean your brushes with and also to thin the gold if it gets too thick. I like to use lavender oil, which I have just decanted into this little glass bottle with the rubber stopper with the eyedropper, which makes it easy for using. Um, you can buy Duncan Essence and I have some here and just make sure you have one bottle of essence for each different luster. This one says platinum on the back, so I know that this essence bottle is only for use with my platinum luster. You do not ever want to mix your essence bottles or your brushes up between different lusters. So if you're doing gold luster, mother of pearl luster, platinum luster, any other kind of luster, just be sure to have a different bottle and a dedicated brush for those. Because if not, you'll, you'll mess it up and you won't be happy. And then I'll feel bad and you'll be sad and it's just never a good thing. So I have right here a selection of brushes that I use for doing my lusters. Um, you might not be able to tell, but I know what these are for. This is my gold brush. I don't use it for anything, but it's a natural bristle, bristle sable hair brush. You can use squirrel or goat hair. Natural bristles are the best. Uh, my other brushes, you know, this is my mother of pearl because mother of pearl is a bluish color. That's how I know. On my platinum, I believe I wrote plat. Yeah, I wrote plat on the back of the handle. You might want to put a little piece of tape or something. 
they can hang out in the same holder because they're not really touching each other and they're cleaned in between using in between usages I should edit that if I get that far in editing probably won't because you all know I don't edit I have no time for editing all right so let's do some luster first you want to prep the surface that you're going to apply the luster to and I prep it the same way as I do china paints. If you watched my china paint video, you will see that I just use isopropyl rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. Simple, easy, 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 easy. And I just wipe the surface to get off any dust, grease, fingerprints, geebage, whatever you got. You don't want that on there. And then just let it air dry. And they'll, it'll air dry really fast. So when you get ready to use your luster, the first thing you want to do is you want to dip your brush in the essence to get it wet. And that way the bristles aren't soaking up more luster than they need to and you're not wasting the material. So I just dab this in, wipe it off so it's ready to go. Now if you find that your luster is super gloppy and thick, you can thin it down with a little bit of this. What I recommend is putting your brush in the essence with the lavender oil that or essence. I, like I said, love lavender oil. It smells good, easy to come across. It's non-toxic. So for me, it's like the perfect thing. So I'll just take a little bit of the lavender oil, dip my brush in it, and then kind of wipe it on the side of the gold luster, and that will run down in and kind of thin it. You don't want to actually pour the lavender oil into your gold or any essence into your gold. Don't ever pour anything into it because you will thin it too much and then it's almost impossible to get it to thicken back up unless you leave it sitting out uncovered for a period of time and then you're inviting dust and all kinds of crud to get down into your bottle. And not good. All right. And you wanna make sure when you apply luster you're doing it in a well-ventilated area. I'm in my studio, it's a huge barn, lots of windows, so for me I'm good. You could have a little fan going, just blowing across the area while you work so that you're not breathing in the fumes. Um, I don't think they'll kill you, it's just like breathing, it's like paint fumes, you know, it's not good for you. You get a little like lightheaded and stuff, you don't wanna do that. All right, so I'm just dipping, and you see how I dip and then I wipe on the inside of the bottle so that any excess runs off. If it's too thin when you apply this or too much, it'll run outside of the space that you want the gold to be in. And then you have a big gold blob, which is fine if you want a big gold blob, but I want cute little gold stars, right? Gold stars. So let me apply. I'm just gonna show you guys, make sure, there we go. So I just start in the center and I'm just gonna lightly work my way out to the points of the stars. And gold is opaque, which means it will cover every single thing it touches. So if it cover if it touches my lines, it'll actually cover my lines. So it won't look like there are incised lines here. It'll look like there is just a gold star. And I actually want the outline, so I'm stopping just shy. And if you see it start to pool, or run, you can catch it and pull it back. So I will do this on the whole piece. And then I put it in the kiln. Like I don't wait. I don't let it sit overnight to dry. You can. I don't. I've never had a problem with the gold. I always do a one hour preheat before I actually fire my luster firing. So I'll fire at medium speed to cone 017 in my scut kiln, well ventilated, so all the spies are open, the lid is shut, and if you have a, a kiln vent, run that, but I don't have a kiln vent, so I gotta make do with what I got. But I'll do an hour preheat, and then a medium fire. See how these stars have the gold luster? It looks brown, and there they are that need their luster. All right. So that's, that's the applying the luster. One more thing I want to share with you all before we're done is if you happen to get the gold where you don't want the gold, they make this thing called gold eraser. And I have one here I'm going to show you. 
So this is a gold eraser and sometimes you'll get a little gold on your fingers and you think you've wiped it off and then you'll pick a piece up and you'll actually smear some on there and you won't notice it until you take it out of the kiln and then it's covered in gold, little smearings on the back. And it's not bright gold, it's like this purple smudgy. And I actually have a plate up here that I don't know what I was thinking when I did this. Like here's the front, looks great, but look at the back, that purple that is gold. So this is thin gold smeared on the back. But if you have one of these guys, it's called a gold eraser. Most ceramic supply places carry it. I think big ceramic stores where I got this one. And all you do is just go in and yeah, it takes a while. So you just sit there and you erase. I mean, you basically are erasing. And you just sit there and erase and you'll erase some more and you keep going and it will eventually, I'm just doing one line to show you. All right, so look right here. Do you see this white line? That is what I just erased. So you'll just sit there and erase and erase and erase and erase and erase and erase and erase, but it will go away so you can get it off. But prevention is really the key. Try not to get the gold on there. Keep your hands clean. You can wear gloves if you need to while you're working. I don't like gloves, so I don't wear them. All right, so that's it. That's how easy applying gold is to the surface. It's just simple brushing it on and firing it to 017, medium speed, well ventilated kiln. And you'll have some awesome gold pieces. The same thing applies to platinum luster, mother of pearl luster. They all go to the same temp, which for me, I fire my china paints, my commercial decals. So any vintage commercial ceramic decal that I get, that I apply, and my luster all go to 017. So it's a kind of a great thing because in one kiln load, I can have a mix of luster pieces, china paint pieces, and decal pieces. So it's like, woohoo, Christmas when I open it because there's all kinds of stuff in there. All right, I will share these when they're done on a later video just to, just to kind of give you an idea what it looks like when it's over and how cute they're gonna be. All right, guys, hope you have an awesome day. Thanks for hanging out here in the studio with me. I'll catch you next time.